What's up, guys? It's your boy Jeffo Dragonet here, and I'm bringing you guys week five of the PCL D League as we take on Mr. Undefeated, the Blazing Squid, coach of the Toronto Total Dolls. And you guys heard me, yes, he is one of the two coaches who are left undefeated, and they are both, both undefeated coaches are in my division, which is the Silver Division. And the Blazing Squid and the coach of Toronto the Total Dolls, once again, he is 4 0 coming into week 5, playing against stuff, playing against us, not us, I don't know where that came from, playing against us, and a torch has been passed on to me, guys. And passed on to me for the past four weeks, people are trying to take him down, take away his, um, break his winning streak, and a torch has been finally passed over to me. So, this week, we're going to try to get this dub and break his winning streak. So, before anything, shout outs. I gotta make my shout outs. Shout out to Lance and Joe for recording the video for me, the battle for me, actually. If you did not, I could not be a part of this. And shout out to my front office, especially two of my front office members, Aquarius and Zombie Captains. They both helped me with the building process and the mocks. So, they both helped me out with that. Um, I think that's everything I have to go for. Yeet speed. So let's just go ahead and jump into the team bro. You guys will see his team pop up over here. Over here, yes, over here. This second team will pop up over here. So first up we have the most famous. He's always here. Scar the Mega Metagross. Rock of the Moves. Zen Headbutt. Meteor Mash. Earthquake. Thunder Punch. Um, with the Jolly ability. Um, jolly, jolly Nature. Jolly Nature. <laughs> ability is tough claws. I have no clue where that came from. But we're running Max Attack. 180 speed 72 HP and if I do recall correctly this is enough speed to outspeed a max um, Zard Y, a max Manaphy, I think that's all there is to outspeed, yep, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's all there is to outspeed, um, I can outspeed the Zygarde 10%, it's 115 base speed, the Zero is 147, I can't, oh 143, so I can't outspeed these, th those two, so Zen Headbutt goes in on his team, um, if we you know, he also has a lane as you guys see, so I could just take advantage of that psychic terrain. Zen Headbutt will basically two coat every single thing on his team. Essentially, everything just dies to it. Um, Meteor Mash, because he has uh, what's this? What's this fairy type on his team again? It's fairy. The Lele. I'm, I, I literally just said Lele. Yeah, Meteor Mash is for the Lele. Um, Earthquake is to hit the Zera Aura, of course, and Thunder Punch is to hit the Zard Y. So that's that. Next up, we have Colgate, our Zygarde. This week, rocking the Roselli Berry um, with Thousand Arrows, Outrage, Substitute, Dragon Dance with 76 HP, 252 Attack, and 180 Speed. Once again, at plus, um, we do outspeed a uh, Jolly. Uh, what's it called? A plus one, we outspeed Zero Aura, of course, max speed Zero Aura. Um, we outspeed a Scarf Heracross as well. We're at plus one, um, we're running substitute this week, and the Roselli Berry, the Roselli Berry is um so like my Zygarde's out. That's obviously gonna bring in the Lele, no matter what. Lele's coming all the time against my Zygarde. So with this, even if he is, if he, even if he is a choice specs variant of the top Lele, a top Lele, it does like 48% to me instead of Okoing me with Moonblast. So that's that's kind of just so I could get if I do have my sub off or my Dragon Dance off, I could just do one more thing afterwards so like say I go my Zygarde I click substitute he comes out with his Lele I click Dragon Dance and then um, my substitute goes away um, I click Dragon Dance again and my Rosalie Berry pops and I just Oko it with a thousand arrows right or I could have a other situation where I cover with I click Dragon Dance first time and then if he is um, Scarf Lele doesn't really matter I speak Spanish describe that but and zoom really matter. I have that so I can take a hit from me no matter what and I'm Gucci like that. So and I hope this could put in a lot of work. So next up we have Nova our Mew Rock the Muniums, the Rock the Moose Psychic, Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Roost, Max Speed, to uh, Max Max Attack, Max Speed, Tibber Nature and four and HP just to um you know, speed tie with the Zard and speed tie with the Manaphy, you know, just get, if we get, if we could win those speed ties, the Psychics on her a lot, very badly on her so much, um, Earth Power is there for the Zara Aura, of course, of course, Shadow Ball is there for the Lele and the, um, Play Doll, um, and Roost is for longevity, you know, just keep her health up, everything like that, and Medium Z, of course, um, say the Lele is gone, and I want to get Psychic Terrain back up for Metagross, let's click 
pop the Super Genesis Nova and boom, we got that out there and Mega Ghost goes, goes house again. And also with that Super Genesis Nova, I'm, I'm with the second terrain. He does have a Zygarde. And of course, Zygarde has extreme speed, so I can stop that thing from extreme speed as well. But I don't really see extreme speed coming because he does have a Lele. So, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Um, next up, we have someone making his debut. We have Sceptile. Boomy, our Sceptile, making his debut. Um, rocking the Psychic Seed, Rocking the Moves. Leaf Blade, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Acrobatics with Max Attack, 220 speed, 36 HP, Adamant Nature, and the speed investment is just around speed is Zard Y, Max is Zard Y, and uh, Manaphy. Um, one thing though, um, the Acrobatics was Swords Dance before. Before it was Swords Dance and the Chief Acrobatics, and I'll tell you what, what happened later on. But this set was suggested by Aquarius, because Aquarius has said, um, why is this set just windless? Originally, the set was Leaf Blade, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and um, Endure, because and with holding the Light Berry. So, if I want to pop my um, Endure off right away, like like say mid game or whatever, um, and I know a Sceptile just wins after I get my Light, after I pop my Light Berry, I'll come in with Sceptile, click Endure, live the hit, get down to like maybe from one to twenty percent, whatever the area is, I get down there, Light Berry. Pops, I'll sweep everything on this team, every scarf doesn't even matter, I'll sweep everything, and I just won the game. So that was that, but then for some reason, Unburden and Endure don't are, aren't compatible because Endure was a Gen 3 move. Well um Unburden came out if I'm not mistaken, Gen 6, I think came out Gen 6. So those the move and the ability do not are don't go well together for some reason. So we couldn't run that, so that's this is the stuff that we have today and I, I originally had Swords Dance on there, but the Aquarius told me to put Slap Acrobatics on there because you know, if you do get in a situation where you're stuck against a Heracross, you really can't catch a Heracross with this set. A Rock Slide will do some damage, but you know, it is kind of neutral for the, it, it is part fighting type. So, there's that, I gotta hurry this up because it's only seven minutes. Next up, we have Junior Snorlax, working this um, Leftovers, um, Thick Fat Ability, and this time we're running a Curse Lax set with Return, Curse, Rest, Sleep Talk. Um, max HP, 220 for death, 36 attack with, with careful nature, and essentially, this just wins. Basically, this mon just basically wins. Um, Aquarius told me what we're building. He said that uh, Aquarius told me that um, Snorlax just wins. A uh, rest talk Snorlax just wins. Cause after I get to plus two, even plus one, after one or two curse, I win the game. I, I flat out just beat him. He can't stop my lax at plus one or plus two. Plus one, he has kind of a chance to know, you know, like this type of rolls in there. But at plus two, it's guaranteed he loses. If I get my lax in any, I could get a freaking early game, mid game, late game, whatever it is, it comes in and it gets one or two curses up, and it's game over. It's GG. I won the game. I just, I just won the game, and that's all I mean. I, I don't need any other move. I just, I just need return. Return is all I need because he doesn't have a ghost type, so there is no immunity from return. So. It is what it is. Um, and last but not least, we have another Mon making his debut. We have Jonathan, our Pilo Swine, rocking the Evil Light with Thick Fat Ability as well. Um, Adamant Nature, rocking Earthquake, Ice Super Crash, Ice Shard, and Ice of uh, Stealth Rock with Max HP, Max Attack, of course, but Death Adamant Nature as well. And like I said, um, actually, I didn't mention this. This, uh, a little, little, little. if I'm doing this right, if I actually get my recordings properly this week, my transaction that's supposed to go through, and I've, you guys already know already that my link to got dropped for Pilot Swine, and that's all gonna be explained in the transaction video, and you know, all, all that's gonna be explained there. So if you guys have not checked that out, make sure you guys go check that out, and you guys will know why I dropped Licking Licking for Pilot Swine, and that's that. So that's the team, and um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So right now, everything's gonna come through. Ooh, I got a lot of notifications on my phone right now, but I'm not gonna look at that. We recorded the video. We recorded the video, okay? So we recorded the video. Um, so as you guys already see, um, Squid decides to bring a Zardwine, the Zygarde, the Zara Aura, Manaphy, Heracross, and the Claydol. Um, this is what Aquarius predicted to come, right? He, uh, Aquarius told me that Zard was coming. I, I actually I already knew the Zard, the Zara Aura, the Heracross, the Manatee was already coming. I know I knew those four mods were guaranteed coming. I, I knew those, right? For the last two months, um, I didn't really know. It, I, I was like, it's probably gonna be Lele, um, maybe Claydol. Um, what other mods do you have? I don't remember. I'm not gonna go back and check, but uh, 
uh, it could be swapped out or anything else, but I first told him that Zygarde is 100% coming against my team, and Quirrus was right. <laughs> Zygarde did come, and Kidal did come because, um, you know, trying to rem remove rocks on his side, of course, and also it's a tank against me. This is like the only thing that does take hits. A max defensive, um, bold nature it takes like 40% from an ice punch from, um, Metagross and Zygarde as well. Um, a thousand arrows does not it I think it barely two goes after like plus two. So this was a really good bring on his part as well. Um so that is what it is. And it's probably have toxic during a to toxic spell my mom and things of that sort. It's probably running like earth power, stealth rocks, rapid spin, and toxic. That's that's moves that I'm looking at. So I'm on preview I'm looking okay. Offensive Zard, um Dragon Dance, probably Yachi Berry, it could be banded, E speed on the uh, Zygarde. Zero Aura is probably going to be a Berry second, you know, um, that's the most common, because, you know, it only has one weakness, I have to Shooker Berry in the bulk up, it's just a lot of work in. Manaphy, it's Z user, so I'm like, okay, it's probably just been like a Tail Glow set with Surf, Ice Beam, and like, maybe, I don't know, like, Energy Ball to hit my Feeny, if Feeny is coming, um, and with probably just like the Water MZ. Um, the Heracross, I, 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 what I saw in my mocks was a... Scarf Moxie hair cross that actually put a lot of work in. I marked twice if I do, if I'm not mistaken, and both those games it picked up three kills in both games. So the Scarf Moxie hair cross is very, very scary. That's what I'm scared of. It could also also be a Flame Warp Gut set, which is also very scary, but you know, it doesn't have the speed to back it up, so that's a little bit more manageable, you know. And like I said, the clear all set. So, um, look at this thing. I'm like, you know what, in my mocks, I was like, Pile of Swine is my suicide lead. He comes in, gets rocks, and whatever mods are me, I, I crush an earthquake, and I'm gonna do big damage because I, you know, max attack out of it. Pile Swine does do a lot of work in, and it can take a few hits. So I was like, it doesn't really matter. I'm also gonna go ahead and lead with Pile of Swine and hope that yeah, the, the audio is muted this time, so you guys will not hear the actual game thing. So, so I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. So that's what we go ahead and do. We go ahead. And lead off with the pilot swine as we are being challenged by Pokemon Trainer Landroid. And he goes off and leads off with his Zard. I knew he was probably gonna lead off with Zard because he's gonna get the Mega Evolution out, get his round of things of that sort. And he the past couple weeks he's been leading Zard a lot. So I was like, you know, Zard's gonna be fine amazing lead. I don't really don't care. Jonathan's a suicide lead. Um first turn, I'm like, I don't I'm gonna say a seventy percent from a flamethrower if it's offensive, you know, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Um he goes ahead, Magic Balls, I'm like, I'm gonna throw him a pass one away, get my rocks up. Um, the droughts come up, and I'm expecting the flamethrower to do 70% to me, but he clicks air slash, and the air slash does like 35%. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, that does that does um, why, why are you running air slash? Well, I'm the sun, and I'm I'm neutral. I'm actually weak to um, flamethrower. So I'm, I'm not sure, and I'm like, I did the calc and ask for crash. It's minimum 53% to 65. But of course that right there what happened is it like 35%. So I'm like, this is a bulky Zar. I, I did the count max HP, max defense bold. This is about 35% with an icicle crash. I'm like, wow. This is a um this is a defensive Zard. I go for the ice chart over here. In hindsight, I, I knew it's a defensive Zard. I didn't have roots. I should just click ice crash to get you know more damage off, but it is what it is, and I, that's gonna come by me in the butt later on, as you guys will see. Um, so I was like, you know what, that's fine, I don't really don't care. And over here, I'm like, he, I, I, I win because he's defensive, he can't really touch me unless he has a focus blast. So I'm gonna start sharing my curses, and Jimmy wins the game, he just does, he, he literally just does. So that's what I go ahead and do. He's not gonna do, he's not gonna uh, stay in because you know he's defensive. Flames are just like 15% to me. I go ahead and do the curse, and next few turns, um, I just get to plus four because I'm like. You gonna let me set up with the fail. I don't really care about my rocks being gone at this point. It doesn't really matter. You lose. You don't have an answer to my snow life. You really don't. You really do not have any answer. I'm at plus one. And next three turns, I just click clicking curse. I click. I keep clicking curse. And let's say in the part of the reason why I kept going with curse because if he was a max defensive and what my like my max HP max defense bold played off, I need to get a plus four. To do like 99% to him, so I'm like, uh, I don't think he's max, but like, you know, let's hit the plus four and you know, kill it, right? Let's just kill, it. let's just kill it and just start just winning the game, right? So I keep going curse, and he clicks the earth power over here, and I'm, I know I'm gonna get a special defense up eventually, 
and this earth power right now he does get the special defense drop and I'm like okay this could be bad he's probably fishing for a special defense drop come out to a Zard get a focus blast off because even that like um, no uh, attack investments it does like 50% why am I minus one special defense so I'm like okay this this is probably what you're trying to do so after this last curse next turn I go for the return and return absolutely bops this thing right it absolutely bossy I'm like I win this game you don't you don't you don't really win I win I just I just kind of win you can't do anything to me I go for the return and right here well he goes for his stuff off to set him up because I think he predicts me to go ahead and kill him which is a uh, pretty, pretty good play on his part because you know good read I go ahead click the return kill him and he was rocky helmet so I was like okay very defensive mom but he was like he didn't have the full max defense because you know I have a Mew I have a lot of special mods too as well so wants to do that then he comes up to his hair cross I'm, I'm, I'm thinking okay worst case scenario he's gonna click protect get his flame orb off and get a guts and try to hit me with close combo dude like 70% and I go first and I'm like there's no way focus ass counter oh my you brought a counter and this I gotta pause right here I gotta pause Actually, let me just finish this animation and I'm like there's just no way and he gets his moxie off let's get the moxie off right over here and I'm like there's just no way I'm like there is absolutely no way why I'm like why did you bring sash counter hair across I'm like dude I'm like why why would you bring sash counter hair I was, I was really mad about that. I was really annoyed not mad but really good prep on his part no you know um catch my zygraph I feel like a thousand arrows and try to oko it no he could just quick counter and obliterate me so good prep on his part but it's like why like why <laughs> I wouldn't I didn't I know he's a fighting time but I was like why would you ever run counter on this thing because basically what I was doing with the calc so I was, I was like okay if he's max attack adamant flame orb even if I'm a plus four defense he still does like 60% to me so what I was thinking I was like okay he's trying to get this protect off get the flame orb click close combat um 60% to me come up to his zard hit the focus blast and try to kill me so on that play I was like okay should I just go for my rest over here to go to full, full HP you know that's stall out his thing and hopefully sleep talk does hit the return to go ahead and knock it out afterwards but this happened so in hindsight I probably should have the rest out of a reveal this counter and counter on the mistake only has like 8 pp so I could have just played around that counter and it's kicked me clicking curse rest it could, have just, it could have just been mind games at this point and i could have got out there and kill him once but with that jimmy does pick up a kill but he dies right away and i was really 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 upset about this um i, I was just really mad about it. I, i'm not gonna lie uh whatever but i think this turn over here i just come out into my mew if i'm not mistaken yeah i just come out to my mew i'm like it's a free kill that's really mad i was, I was that kind of story I took, I took a long time but i was just i was in shock as this counter, so I just go for the psychic. He's not gonna save this thing, it doesn't really matter. He just dies next time he comes in, he keeps the death part, but he doesn't want to take damage on any other mod coming in. So I understand that play. So we're up um, five to four. He takes that out, comes out into the Zero Aura. And at this point, I'm like, I'm just gonna pop off my Z, right? I'll pop off my Z as he goes for the bolster. So I'm like, okay, so that makes Zero Aura. He gets a crit on my thing, so I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm like, I just pop off my Z because I know that. Every, anything that comes in dies. Everything, anything that comes in to a Z just dies. So that's what I do. As I pop off my Munium Z, five weeks, and we finally get off my Super, my Genesis Supernova. And this animation is so dope, bro. I never seen this before until the game. And I was like, whoa, this is lit so dog. Just look at us appreciate this animation. Um, I don't know why it's lagging, but sorry about that. But this, oh, look at the Mew. He has like a big old ball, like. Bah, dog, dog. I was like, this thing's dead. This thing is completely dead. But I did the calc. He lives. So I did the calc. I'm like, oh, without even an investment, it still lives because you know, a stupid bulky base for 100 mons. I mean, it's all around. It's, it's bulky. But unfortunately, um, I do get the speed tie. I do go ahead and pick it up. I think he told me that he went for a surf or a Z move out here. So it is what it is. Um, and I think over here, I just go ahead and sack off my new. Yeah. 
to a Thunderbolt combo. I don't want to take a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch or anything. I don't want to finish it to a few guys a Volt Switch. So I just sack off a Mew. I call it to my Mega Girls because, oh, I mean, I mean, my set top because at this point, I'm like, I win the game. I just win the game because I guaranteed Oko a Zard with a Rock Slash. So I just come up to my, this boy. He does, oh, um, I'll speed everything. I go for the Earthquake and he pops off his Shipka. So I'm like, okay. That is what it is, and right here I was thinking like, if I did have the Swords Dance, I could have gone for Swords Dance, but the bad thing is that like, I would have to, um, I wouldn't think I would kill even at plus two. Actually, thinking about it, I probably could have killed through the Shuka if I was at plus two with that. If I would have been like a robot, I probably could have. Um, I do go for the Earthquake again, and um, I was kind of scared if he does go to Zarwa to predict the Earthquake to go draw out the Psychic Terrain turns. For some reason, I have this Genesis Supernova. That's one turn second like terrain god. So I was like, I'll let, I was left at four, so I'm, I'm thinking he's trying to try to um, do that, but it doesn't really matter. And he does go for the E speed over here. So if I did go for the um, Swords Dance, I might have. I still live it because he was life form. So I don't know if that was a roll. I think I was going to live. I'm not sure if that was a roll. I just go for Leaf Blade and Boomy picks up his first kill in his debut. We do that. Charizard comes out. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, I guarantee Okoy no matter what the rocks like to do but I forgot that he's max defense I, I, I slipped my mind I go for the rock slide but he does live because he is max defense he barely lose it too and like I said if I went for the ice would crash instead of the second ice shard he would have died <laughs> right he would have died or if I went for the swords dance I, I still believe that if I went for the swords dance I could have killed zero aura through the shipper because look look basically let's just go back a few turns right I just want to go back Look, it took like 36% with a sugar berry, and I'm adamant. So if I was at plus two, it would have done like twice as much. So I feel like I would have killed him. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. I feel like I could have killed it. Like, I feel like I could have killed it, but you know, it is what it is. A boomy did put in some work. He did take out two mobs. He does, unfortunately, does die to the air slash over here. I was kind of hoping for a flinch, but no flinch. I was like, eh. These mons, you can't really ask for too much, right? You really can't do too much. Um, so I just come up to my Meta Metagross, because Metagross just won the game. He comes out, he clicked Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch, kills his Zygarde. Um, what's, what's left? Zero Aura is left. I, um, yeah, Zero Aura is left. I click Earthquake and that thing dies. I do take a Thunderbolt anyways from it, so I, I am not too bulky, but you know, he does have really respectable bulk at 110 spark defense. So Scar comes in and cleans up late game. Um, we got Thunder Punch off, he gets out with 2-0, um, so GG's to my guy, Blazing Scoop. We, we are the ones who have actually defeated him and broke his undefeated record, so now he is 4-1 and one, and we are also 4-1. and one. We're at plus 4 differential and he is at like, I think a plus 11 differential or something, something like that, something stupid. Uh, but if even if imagine if he didn't, imagine if I actually went for like the sleep of the rest on his counter. Bro, if I could preserve that 5 0 differential win, man. Whoo wee! That would have been. That would have been something, dog. I'll tell you, that would have been something. But GG's again to Renway, um, to Blazer Squid. It was a phenomenal game. He does do live comps. And I want you guys to go ahead and check out his side. I know I will be checking out his side. I want him to get his reaction, his like his things, his thoughts, and everything like that. It was a really fun game. GG's once again. I'm still a little bit bummed out. We do pick up a 2 0 victory, of course. But I'm still kind of bummed out that I could not pick up the 5 over 3. Um, I probably could have. Um, his Pulse Wine went down. His Snorlax went down. Mew went down. I could have picked up the 3-0 win. I, I, I still stand by it that if I did have Swords Dance over Acrobatics, I clicked Swords Dance. Um, I could I could have. I, I, I really think I could have killed the Zero Aura. Um, with, yeah, I really think I could have killed the Zero Aura. Even through a circuit with plus two, got plus two out of me. I really think I could have killed it. Um, with that, uh, he comes out to his because he had a zero aura left. The the Zygon and the Charizard, right? I'll be three turns left. The Charizard comes out, I click rock slide, that dies. One turn, I get turn left. Two, he comes out to his Zygarde. Leaf Blade will kill it at plus two. So we could have we could have done that with the Swords Dance, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. We do pick a two of victory, and we are bouncing back ever since the week two loss we have never we, we have not turned back week three week four week five we have picked up three straight w's in a row next week we do take on um 
Love and his, Aer uh, his Atlanta Aerodactyls and his team is very, very cute as well. He does have a Dialga. That's going to be something to prep for. Um, so that's going to be that's going to be a good one to watch too. So like I said, make sure you guys go check out his side of the battle. It will, I, I know I am. His it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how he stays calm in like battles. Like in this game, when the Snorlax died, I literally I was so upset. I was absolutely I was I was I was fuming, dog. Like I jumped off my bed. Like again, I was like so, I was like why? Like that turn too. It took me like the whole 60 seconds to decide. Cause like the first 45 seconds, I was up walking around. I was like there's just no way. <laughs> there's just no way. Yeah, Sash. Counter Heracross, bro. Oh, that's the, that's the only way he won. That's the only way he um did not. He got out there with the minus two loss instead of minus five loss. Like, if it wasn't for that, bro, I would have won five zero. He knows it too. <laughs> I would have won five zero. <laughs> but <laughs> enough about that. Enough about that. Like we keep copy, you know. We gotta stay humble. We gotta stay true. To, stay true to ourselves. I've been dragging this monster for too long. So if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys go down below, smash the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or concerns, leave them down below. And hit the subscribe button if you're not already. So, this is Vinny Boy, Dreadful Dragon Knight out. Peace! Later.